This is just such an aggressive looking boat. It just looks like it's going fast sitting at the dock. This is comfy. Cockpit slash salon area on this boat is gonna be a lot different than what you're used to seeing. Forward central helm to the boat. What's up guys? Today I'm excited to bring you a tour of a Gunboat 57. I've been wanting to get aboard one of these legendary performance cruisers for a good while now and as you might imagine for such a rare boat it's been a challenge but I was finally able to get aboard one so I hope you enjoy the tour. As always remember to like and subscribe if you're enjoying these videos it certainly helps us a lot so thank you in advance and without further ado let's get to the tour. All right, guys, I just stepped aboard and I'm on the port side sugar scoop right here. And we're going to go ahead and go forward first. You've got access to your steering and your engines back here on each side. And we're going to look at that in a little bit. Guys, the first thing you'll notice is this cockpit slash salon area on this boat is going to be a lot different than what you're used to seeing on catamarans. We're gonna come back to this in a little bit. We're gonna go forward first. Heading forward, you've got these steps to walk up and then the deck is covered with soft sea deck and then you've got opening hatches which are also covered on deck. They're flush with the deck so there's nothing to trip over. Really, really nice and it's nice and soft on your feet and grippy. Looking at the coach roof right here, probably the most amount of solar that I've seen on a catamaran. And I'm gonna put the specs on all this solar later on in the video, really, really cool. And then we've got a huge fully carbon main mast, single spreader, diamond stays, and not one, not two, but it's rigged for three head sails all the way forward. Let's continue forward. Carbon fiber stanchions and Dyneema lifelines going forward. The foredeck is nice and flat right up until you get to the massive trampolines. So easy to go forward on this boat. And then you've got a lip here where you can sit if you want while you're at anchor. And this entire space on the trampolines right here is, is huge. It looks like it basically just cradles you on the trampoline here and you know, you're not going anywhere. The lifelines do terminate right about there. Let's hop on the trampoline. Oh yeah guys, this, this is comfy. This trampoline kind of just cradles you like a hammock. It's beautiful. I love the way it's designed. You've got so much space on this trampoline. You have so many people just lounging out here and you know, just relaxing at anchor. Or while you're sailing, you can come out here lay down and just listen to the water going by. This would be awesome. This is just such an aggressive looking boat. It just looks like it's going fast sitting at the dock. I love the styling on it. And then you got a massive carbon fiber bowsprit off the front here. And then the trampoline extending forward on that bowsprit so that you can work the sails while you're up here. Really, really cool. Anchor down there, chain going aft. Aft of the Traveler for the self-tacking jib. There's a nice big forward compartment right here in the bridge deck of the boat. The starboard side foredeck hatch in the bridge deck here has lots of storage right here and then it also extends into the bridge deck and your batteries are down there. So, very nice. So these two compartments here are lots of storage and then these two hatches here go down into cabins. All right guys, we came from the port side there. We did the foredeck and the trampolines and we're gonna go ahead and cross on over to the starboard side here. So all lines are gonna go to the helm station which is right there. And that is just a big, powerful rig. Continuing aft, there's no dagger boards here. So this boat actually has fixed keels. The owner of this boat wanted a simpler, more robust design, so he opted for fixed keels. It also has traditional rudders that are accessed back here. But that rudder stock is carbon fiber, naturally. These sugar scoops have actually been extended out two feet from the original design. So they go pretty far back. 
and they go down pretty close to the water. So easy in and out of the dinghy or easy in and out of the water for activities. Got your dinghy on davits right there, integrated carbon fiber davits. There's another integrated carbon fiber instrument mounting pole over there. And then yeah, we're gonna head into the cockpit once we check out the engine compartments. So the engines are just forward of the sugar scoops and we got a nice big engine compartment. Lots of space to work in. Very, very nice. I'm gonna head on over to the port side, check out the port side engine compartment, see if it's any different. So it looks pretty much like a mirror image of the starboard side. Again, good engine access all around, access to equipment, systems, lots of room down there. All right guys, now for my absolute favorite part and the most unique part of this boat in my opinion, the salon slash cockpit slash helm station. It's really all in one. It's this gigantic area. It's open, yet you can close it. You're protected all around. You're under a carbon fiber coach roof. You've got glass on the forward section. It opens big right there for ventilation. And then you've got the vinyl Isinglass roll up on the back so you can fully enclose all of this, but it is still pretty open. Great for tropical Caribbean cruising, nice and airy. I'm in Fort Lauderdale right now. It's certainly pretty hot outside, but it is definitely bearable under here and it's nice and breezy. So we're just gonna go straight to the helm station, my favorite part of this boat. It's got a forward central helm to the boat. You are right in the middle and you've got 360 degree views all the way around. So for sailing, for docking, for motoring, you've got all the visibility that you need from right here. You're not far away from everyone else because everyone else is gonna be relaxing right behind here, maybe cooking some food in the galley. So I love it. And then everything you need to sail the boat is just forward of that helm station right here. So you've got these two big primary winches, electric winches, and all of your control lines right there. So you sail the whole boat from right here, you got all your instruments right here. I love it. And you are fully protected. You can see your sails through the window right here. <laughs> if you need to go forward, you can hop out that window right there or you can go all the way around. You've actually got steps on both sides, so I believe you can open you can open either side. Really, really cool. I would love to be able to sail this boat to go fast in comfort and protection. Looking to port, this is our galley. And as you can see, it's kind of an inside slash outside galley and it's integrated with the boat. I mean, this galley is also carbon fiber, painted carbon fiber. So it is, you know, integral to the hull. You've got your range, you've got your microwave oven, you've got some storage, cold storage, sink everything you'd need right here some more storage carbon fiber doors and then right here is your you know essentially main salon table it does open up to get even bigger seating right there seating right here again just just wide open lots of storage storage down below storage under that sets you there. So now just like that, you're fully enclosed and protected from the weather. So the Isinglass is down, windows are closed. Yeah, awesome. Now we're gonna go ahead and start with what was the owner's cabin. It's the starboard, starboard hull. I'm gonna head down there. So this is the owner's hull. This is where the owner slept. It does have a double berth back here. This is actually where their kids ended up sleeping. So this was kind of the kids room. Storage, storage, and turning forward. We've got a double bridge deck island berth with storage down below. High quality yet lightweight finishes moving forward. Remember this is a performance catamaran so these hulls are going to be narrower than what you might expect on other 57 foot catamarans but we've got a big 
head here with a sink and a separate shower. And then all the way forward, bell locker accessible from down below here. So again, top of the line performance cruising catamaran. This is what you get when you want beauty, simplicity, minimalism, and extremely high performance. To be able to beat every other catamaran around you. Going down into what was the guest hall for these owners. So this is really kind of cool. I think this is a great feature if you're a cruiser. They actually turned what was a cabin into a utility room. So as you can see, they've integrated a washer dryer, more storage in this wall right here. And then obviously a big fridge and freezer right there. So more cold storage and again, storage down this way. So really nice. And because they planned on cruising on this boat, storage is something that is important. So that's why they opted for that utility room. And then we've got a mirrored island berth up here, bridge deck island berth from the starboard side. Storage down below, steps up. Really cool. Going forward, we've got another big head here. Again, mirrored from the other side another separate shower with a big old bell locker accessible from down below here so for a performance boat lots of storage for a cruiser and very simple easy to maintain i like it all right guys it's time for the full continuous below decks walkthrough from bow to stern i'm starting in the port side forward shower So that was the first time that I had been aboard a gunboat and 
it certainly did not disappoint. I've been meaning to get aboard one of these boats for a while now, and as you can imagine, there's not very many gunboats out there, and they're not very easy to get aboard. So I was really happy to get aboard this boat to film this tour. Anyway, let's get into my thoughts. So I really love this boat for what it is. That being a long-range, minimalistic, performance blue water cruiser. Now, I believe all gunboats are somewhat custom boats, so this one is definitely pretty unique. This is the first gunboat that I've seen that has mini keels instead of dagger boards. The owner wanted that for the simplicity of the mini keels versus the complexity of the dagger boards. And I can understand that for cruising. Another custom thing was the conversion of one of the cabins into basically a storage room, which again is great for cruising. So even though the design was very minimalistic, there was a lot of storage for cruising, which is really nice. You guys know I love forward cockpits in catamarans and you know, this one was no exception. I absolutely loved that forward cockpit. Guys, I can't stress how much I love the helm station location in this boat. It is just right there. You're in the middle of everything. You're in the middle of the action. You're not up, you know, above, away from your family while you're sailing the boat. You're right there. You can see everything. You're protected. And yeah, you're right in the middle of the boat. So it honestly feels like sitting at the helm of like a spaceship rather than a sailboat, which is really cool. I also love the fact that this boat had 2,700 watts of solar on the coach roof, as well as a 10 kilowatt generator and a big lithium battery bank. So, you know, you've got plenty of power for whatever you need to do. In my opinion, a boat like this really is the ultimate cruiser if you really like performance, safety, and practicality. And a lot of times, especially with a boat like this, speed is safety. Because with that speed, you could potentially avoid the weather rather than having to sail through it. And I wanted to say that this boat has proven itself because it's already gone about 15 thousand nautical miles and it's you know raring to do more and to be honest i really liked the kind of half open cat design of the bridge deck salon area it's certainly very unique this boat is definitely well suited for tropical blue water cruising because of that there's a ton of open air space so even without air conditioning that main salon bridge deck area is very comfortable. Now down below, aside from the storage room, the rest of the boat was pretty standard to be honest. The owner's hull had two cabins. The owner slept in the you know forward cabin, which is a bit bigger, and then the aft cabin in the owner's side is where their children slept. And then in the other hull, there was a guest cabin in that storage room. Anyway, I think this boat really speaks for itself. It's a beautiful, fully carbon performance cruising catamaran that's gonna you know beat pretty much any other catamaran out there on the water as far as speed goes and it's gonna do it in style and in comfort that's what makes gunboat awesome but anyway gunboats are not cheap and you guys are gonna see that when you look at the price in the description down below but the asking price for this boat as well as the broker contact information is gonna be down there as with all of our videos I know at least for us a boat of this caliber is still pretty much a pipe dream. That's going to be it for this one. Please leave a like, leave a comment down below, subscribe if you haven't already, and hit that notification bell if you want to know each and every time we drop a video. See you guys. I've got it right and I got it wrong, but I